So every 25 or 30 years, there's a revolution in how people interact in the global financial system because new technologies appear to make it faster, more reliable, and more trustworthy. The first revolution was in the 1970s with mainframes and the first computers that ever appeared. And that allowed the first core banking transactions. And this gave rise to things like personal banking when you go into a bank and they have a computer and ATMs. Then another 20, 30 years went by and you had the appearance of the World Wide Web. And there you had new technologies appear that resulted in internet banking and highly interconnected global applications and the current global financial system we know essentially operating over the internet and similar parallel networks like SWIFT. Then you have the third iteration of this technological shift, which is blockchain, smart contracts, and Oracle networks all interacting in a way that creates greater speed, more reliability, and more trust in how transactions work. Chainlink fits into this third group by basically creating the core protocols and the basic standards for how data and value is transmitted into, out of, and across chains. So if you need to get any kind of information into a chain, you need to get any kind of value into a chain, you need to get that value across chains, or you need to get that information or value out of a chain, then Chainlink is the set of systems and its global standards that wraps around those chains and sits in between the chains to allow all of those transactions and all of that to happen. This means if you expect to see the transition from the current Web2 world into the blockchain format, something like Chainlink plays a critical part because it is the system that allows that value to flow from the non-blockchain format, the Web2 format, or the 1970s mainframe format, into the blockchain format by turning it into various pieces of on-chain data, by allowing tokenized funds to come into existence, by feeding them critical information, by allowing all those tokens to move around and interact with each other across chains. So what Chainlink is doing is basically driving and is at the forefront of this third revolution of how modern day data, computing, and connectivity technology is changing the whole uh, financial world order, how people connect, how people trust each other, how they interoperate on various transactions, how they store value. And this has already happened with Chainlink in places like DeFi in the public chain world where Chainlink is already a global standard, having the majority of the market share of, of categories of applications in DeFi. Now it is becoming a standard in the capital markets and becoming the way that large institutions interact with each other, interact with data, create highly reliable applications. And as a result of, of being the standard in both of those places, it will create what we call the internet of contracts, which is a single internet of interconnected smart contracts and blockchains that are all on the chain link standard for data transmission, value transmission, and the ability to interact uh, with each other across chains and across existing systems like SWIFT and, and others.